acapella version of White Iverson? Buckets? Buckets Malone? No, thanks. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Consider it, especially if you love sneakers, because buckets, we upload a lot of sneaker videos. Define a lot. Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So like I said, if you love sneakers, you're in good hands. You can also find me. I don't know why I did that. It was almost like a bear claw or something. Talons. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Sounds aggressive. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Former Simpson. That is where you can find me. And before we dive into these sneakers, I, I mean, they don't even make words to, to describe how excited I am about this shoe. But before we dive into them, I want to talk about the t-shirt that I am wearing. It is the Vitrine House Serena T. It is part of a portrait collection that they are doing. If you tune in regularly, you've probably heard us mention the Vitrine House. They are an LA-based brand, friends of ours. Uh, we love the Vitrine House. If we're not rocking our own brand, we are usually rocking the Vitrine House. So this is a limited drop. It is available right now. So we will put a link in the description, the Vitrine House com grab one before they're gone just wanted to throw that out there buckets you have anything to say i know normally i have to ask you i know you're excited about these i am let's dive in three two one bang bang introducing the reebok answer dmx in this classic red and white colorway These released recently, they did not sell out, meaning you can still buy a pair almost everywhere, and retail is $170. Now, I know some of you are looking at this sneaker right now. And Buckets, what are they saying? They're saying, what are those? What are they? It's possibly the best sneaker ever. Okay, no. See, and that's the thing. That's my point. For those of you not familiar, this was Allen Iverson's second signature sneaker. The first signature he had with Reebok his rookie year was the question. And I think those buckets, I feel like those are more popular, a little bit more widely known. Well, definitely a more popular model. This was his signature sneaker for his second NBA season that followed up the question. So first you had the question, then you had the answer. These are the answer. And Buckets, we've talked about it before in previous videos, but man, it really is hard to articulate the type of cool that Allen Iverson was back then. Definitely. I mean, when you think about NBA players, athletes that had an impact, it's really tough, like a cultural impact, an impact on kids growing up during that era, during that time. Iverson's got to be towards the top of the list. I feel like he almost gets, in, in today's day and age almost gets a little bit forgotten about maybe not forgotten about but not given his just due for sure i think that part of that is because of jordan right, right. and then he was kind of in that middle space right and you had kobe and, yeah but then kobe kind of and lebron right and there's like a middle place in there where iverson iverson was the coolest guy in the world crazy it was it was crazy I guess I say all that to say this is absolutely a holy grail sneaker for me. I mean, just like the absolute pinnacle for me and buckets for you as well. Big time. I, I mean, that's how good they are. I mean, I'm talking like in the discussion for my favorite sneaker of all time, just because of what it means to me, the memories, 
The fact that just looking at this sneaker takes me back to a point in my childhood. I mean, I'm just buckets. I see these and, and I'm running around Clinton Park. I, I see these and I'm running up and down the court at the PAL. Yep. I mean, just, ah, I feel it in my soul, man. I really do. I also totally understand if you see these and you're like, yuck, what are those? They do nothing for you. It's a super 90s vibe. And I wouldn't necessarily expect someone who didn't have these ingrained and embedded into their soul, into their childhood, their upbringing, all of that stuff. If there wasn't that nostalgia buckets, I wouldn't necessarily be offended if somebody walked into a store right now in 2022 and saw these and walked by them. Like, I, I kind of get it. For sure. I mean, there was a, also a whole study about how most people that knew Jordan knew him from the crying meme. Huh? There was a study. Done. Like, okay, you're breaking up the science on us. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm here for it. About five years ago, there okay. was a study done, and most teens recognized Jordan from the crying meme, not from being Jordan. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Now, that may have changed with the last dance, which then took the took the world by storm, you could say. Okay. But So I think that that's changed a little bit, but... But what about his sneakers? They're so popular, but they don't associate the Jordan, the person that's just Jordan, the brand. Yeah. They mm. don't know Michael Jordan. They never watch Michael Jordan. They don't watch hot, like old highlights. Well, no, for sure. And I mean, Jordan was even like, kind of like before our time technically, but man, associating him with the crying meme, a great meme, by the way. But, Fantastic meme, but he doesn't like it. So I don't like it. Okay. All right. Disregard, edit it out. Redacted from the record. I think that's how it works anyway. Okay, back to the sneaker. I think they did a very good job with this retro. We have an old pair hanging up in the rafters down here at the workshop. Like I said, holy grail status. But I like the way these turned out. You've got this thick tumbled leather on the majority of the upper. Very nice to the touch. You've got this thin mesh wrapping around from the side to the back of the sneaker got the Reebok logo embroidered in. Then you've got a thicker mesh directly on the heel here, or the Achilles technically. The i3 bubble logo, which I love. Red patent leather cutting through the middle of the sneaker. You've got red patent leather on most of the tongue as well with Iverson embroidered in white and gold running pretty much the length of it. You got a little mesh up top with the Reebok branding, as you can see. And you've got more Reebok branding through the middle here as well with the black patent leather. And as you lace these tighter and it pulls that together, buckets, that Reebok logo, that vector, it becomes whole. Yep. Now, listen, if you lace these up so tight that that logo touches, bruv. They're too tight. They're too tight. They're, come on. Don't be that guy. I mean, you got the lace loops that are like this big. It, it, it's too much. All right. Listen, just know that if it touches, it's a full logo, but you don't want to see the full logo. All right. I'm just throwing that out there. It really is just such a 90 sneaker. You've got another subtle Reebok logo pressed in up front. Buckets, what is that called? Debossed? It is debossed. Debossed up front. You barely notice it. And my favorite detail, other than the red patent leather, is this tag on the back of the tongue. You've got Iverson's Rookie of the Year stats. The question has been answered. Buckets, you talked about it as a kid, reading that, that back tongue tag and how it just, it gave you a little extra juice. Point game, game on the line. Young Buckets Esquire catches it on the wing. He faces up. Who knows who might be guarding him? Who knows who his adversary is that day? You didn't have a mustache back then. You did have a mullet. You did have a mullet. Yeah, not much has changed. You either had the mullet or you had the Harry Potter bowl cut, also known as the Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, so Harry Potter. <laughs> no disrespect. Harry Potter did not have a bowl cut. Okay. 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 So but I did have a bowl cut. You did have a bowl cut. You face him up. Like, do you do a quick jab step and then like read the, the stats real quick and then go get a bucket? No, I backed down. At that time frame? Oh, in, just, in, in that time age, I should say. So you were Jokic. <laughs> yeah. You were you were a young Nikola yeah. Jokic. If I got it on the wing, you're saying? Yeah. For the game? Yeah. yeah, back down. Okay. And then afterwards, you would read the Iverson's accolades and say, okay, I'm on the way. Yeah. That's what it's all about. 
That is what it's all about. That's what I'm trying to tell you. A few more details to mention. You've got the chunky midsole with the white, gold, and red, as you can see. You've got the same thing on the outsole. I love how there's like gold flakes incorporated into the red as well. It just feels very elegant. Very, very, fuck, it's classy vibes. Very. So classy all the way around. I am biased, obviously. I'm admitting that, but these are, they're amazing. This isn't the first time that they've retroed. I hope it's not the last. This is probably one of those sneakers, they could retro them every couple years, and I would, I would be running. I, I would come back, I would buy a pair, because, and again, this is something that we've talked about. If you tune in regularly, then you know this. I often equate music and sneakers because you know you hear that song you see that sneaker and it just you just time travel I, I don't know if that was the best hand gesture for that right i think it was pretty good okay all right it takes you back to that exact time in your life and i think that's what sneakers is all about and you know if these don't move you maybe another sneaker does what these do for me buckets what these do for you maybe another sneaker does for someone else and that is a beautiful thing a very very beautiful thing it's also kind of cool or interesting maybe is a better word it's interesting to see how well certain sneakers age you know 20 30 i mean years and years later you think about buckets the air force one even the jordan one they've aged really well to the point where they almost feel timeless for sure, but there's been periods of time where those were not popular sneakers. For sure, but still kind of a timeless look, I think, or, or more so than these. This is almost like a late 90s like time capsule. For sure, but I think a huge part of that is Nike's kind of hold on footwear and... Maybe, and that they've kept those staples, maybe. I kind of do disagree. We've talked about it even with Yeezys, for example, right? How like the 700... I think is going to age a lot better than the 350 and kind of already has just because it has a little bit more like you look at these they've got the excessive like in your face branding I mean how many Reebok logos are on the sneaker plus Reebok spelled out plus the Iverson logo I mean it's just there's a lot of branding it's a bold design you've got patent leather it's just it's very in your face so I don't know that it's necessarily timeless but it's timeless for me. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. Uh, in our hearts, forever. Yeah. You know, in this life and the next. Uh, I probably goes without saying, these are a 10 out of 10. Uh, I would give them 100 out of 100 if I could. That's how good they are. I mean, we're going to agree on this one. I already know, because I know you love these. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Boom. The perfect sneaker? A perfect sneaker. A perfect sneaker for a young Nikola Jokic with the bowl cut on the back down for game point. I respect that. We fought like warrior poets. <laughs> That's what I'll say. I love it. I love it. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about these. What are your thoughts? There was also other colorways. Buckets, you had that uh, the all patent leather navy blue joints. Those were like so insane to Whoa. me. Oh, I mean, these are the classic for me. This is top dog, but those navy blues patent. Oh, my, like just it blew my mind. Yeah, we also have the black and golds hanging up. Got the black and gold pair. So we got two colorways from the same sneaker hanging up down here is i think it's probably the only sneaker that we've done that with for sure all right just just let you know where our heads are at where our hearts are at on these but leave a comment below say something nice about these for us and let us know what is this sneaker for you like that kind of just encompasses embodies your childhood brings you back to that exact time in your life Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place, right here at the workshop with a new stick for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets, anything from you? No, I feel good. Okay. Thanks for updating us. Yeah. Letting us know. No problem. All right. That's it. That's it. Adios.